Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your entrepreneurship tutor, Professor Henry Buisa of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology in Kenya. Yes, I now want to motivate you to grow your own shillings in those used plastic bottles of yours. Yes, look. Look at this. This is a, a bottle, but it's being used in the garden as a sprinkler to make money. Look, this is a whole sea, and this is a boat made out of bottles, used bottles. And look, these are bold, bottles arranged along a wall. And things are growing in it, in them. Money is being made using what is otherwise thrown away. And indeed, when I saw things like this, greenhouse made out of bottles, you know, jewelry stand made out of used bottles. You know, magazine holders in libraries made out of bottles. Pick a bank for your kids at home to teach them entrepreneurship, saving, and so on and so forth. And look, a Christmas tree. That two liter bottle of yours. Christmas tree. And I saw in a garage, garage storage, all the bowls and nuts, and even snacks, biscuits, in the garage. Yes. When I saw this on the net, I was motivated to do it myself. Do you know the D I Y? Do it yourself. And went ahead to demand of my students of technology and innovation to do the same. Entrepreneurs are doers, not talkers. They talk, but they do. I now want to produce a broom out of this bottle. My daughter... Lois is going to be my assistant. It's my son, Jeff, who is taking this video. Yes, you can do the family. That's good parenting. That is instilling an entrepreneurial culture. Yes, so my standard uh, seven daughter was at hand. Yes, we are now starting removing the papers from the the bottles so that it is clear we now want to cut the bottle somewhere in between I mean halfway from bottom to top it all depends on the size and length of the broom that you want we have selected I've selected here to Cut it right in the middle. I give my daughter. My daughter will start shredding it using ordinary scissors. You can see I'm measuring. I cut it in the middle. Separate the bottom from the top. The bottom, I'll still use it. We shall use it also. Put it into a useful product. But now let us concentrate on the top. That is the top. Again, you see, we need, for this purpose, I need about three bottles. Actually, not about, but three bottles to make a standard broom. So I'm cutting the third bottle. Notice that I'm not yet removing the bottle tops. But I'll remove them later. So here we are. I've finished the 
cutting the bottles. I now want to shred to shred the sides, the bottles. This is a special scissors used to shred paper, but we can use any scissors. My daughter here is using ordinary scissors. The advantage of using these special scissors is that the uniform, the shreds are uniform. It's also faster, but it is not the only scissors that you can use. So where we are, I'm shredding it. I shred it not up to the end of the bottle, just where it's curving in, where the bottle is curving in to, to go to the top. I stop there. As I said, the length of the bottle will determine the size of the broom. The big bottles will also make big brooms. This is an ordinary 5 milliliter Sprite bottle. You can see now these are becoming shreds that can now be used to sweep. I come to the next it in the handle. See, you can call it a staircase broom if you want. I now use my glue to glue them together so that they, they don't dance, they don't move around. This is, you can use any strong glue. I'm using, I'm using a glue gun, but any glue that is get PVC metals, that glue will be useful. Now I get my handle. You can decide that your handles carry some message. Like Fagia Umasikini. This is my message here. Cleanliness is godliness. That's my message here. Takataka Nimali. You see, we're saying waste is wealth. We're saying Cleaning, cleaning is good. We're saying poverty, sweep poverty away. So we now fix, we now fix the, the broom. If you have cut your handle well, it will fix it. But you can still fasten it. You can use, uh, you see now I'm sweeping. To fasten it, you can use anything that you want to fight with some small nails to hammer. Yes, you can see we have made a broom. But remember, we cut the bottle into two. And we left the tops, we removed the tops. And the bottom part of the bottle. Now, this well, two years ago, were my first year students. They just joined university. And I introduced them to that idea. So, the bottom half of the bottle can be used to make flower vases. The students discover so. So, for their first year examination project, my students started making such vases and actually sold them for their campus income. And we were having this unit called Venture Creation. We have been taught by Professor Busa, whereby he uses practical methods to teach, uh, which is far much different from uh, the way other lecturers teach, whereby they use the theory. And in his method of teaching, 
we are able to go and fix the field and see how businesses are run and we're able to come up with creative ideas which we are able to apply in our businesses <coughs> and it enables us to grow and with me i have my colleague the idea of using uh, plastic bottles to make flower dishes we take um, a bottle that has already been used and we cut it into two pieces like this and then uh, for this piece uh, we cut it into our desired designs or shapes and then we use aluminium foil to cover it to make it appealing more appealing the outcome after wrapping it in the apple uh, this is how it looks and then we have something the material to, to, to make it more appealing and then we wrap it on top of the aluminum foil After wrapping uh, the base using the aluminum foil, uh, we use some of our few uh, customized designs to make it more appealing and pretty. Uh, so this is the final base that we have. It looks good and it can attract so many customers because of how it looks. Yeah. Final product that you have already put in the market and it's also ready for sale. As you can see, the product is attractive and appealing to our target market. This product can be used for natural beautification of homes, offices, classrooms, and in the places that may need decoration. The products can also be used as a gift during the Valentine's time and also during the birthdays and also for decorating weddings. We were making these dresses, we faced some challenges, and among them includes the collection of these plastic bottles. And then we also need to identify a place, like a workshop where we can be meeting to make more dresses. And then, usually we make these dresses on our free time. And then another challenge that we are facing is that we do not have more tools to help us uh, make these places in more ways that are attractive to uh, to uh, like help us get more sales because the customers are usually into something that is more designed so like we do not have more tools to help us make more attractive places Uh, we've been selling a few. We're selling one flower base at two dollars, uh, which is two hundred Kenyan shillings, and we are selling them to the market that we've been able to reach so far, and they are selling good. Um, so if we get the support that we need, we can expand on our business and make more desirable designs. Uh, which can attract more customers and which will help our business to grow. Um, this business is helping create employment to people who are jobless. They can collect for us the bottles, for example, and we can feed them. And it's also helping to in waste reduction because these bottles, once they are used, they are regarded as waste. And once we collect them, we can use them to make these pieces. Hence, yes, indeed, you had them. They are first years, or they were first years then. They faced challenges, and they were doing it on part-time basis. There, their names are. There, their you know, admission numbers are. These students. 
were doing it on part-time basis. It's not a full-time. It doesn't distract them from academics. When they are sitting, lazing, rather than, you know, just spend the time, you know, loitering or doing whatever they do, I mean, common students do, on the weekends they do it, and you have had them. They are selling one at 200 Kenya shillings. And more so, they were creating employment. They ask the idle people to collect the bottles. They are also saving the environment. They go to kiosks. They say, please, don't throw away the bottles. Put them here. And this is what, you know, this approach to education means. Now, the bottle tops now. You have seen we have used the, the bottle, the upper part of the bottle, the lower part of the bottle. How about the bottle tops? Yes, they can be used to make skipping ropes and indeed perform all the functions of ropes, such as sisal ropes. Now, this standard three boy under the computer-based curriculum is now, as I speak, making and selling such ropes. With the more training, he can produce other items, including candle holders. How to make that? This is the boy who makes them. This boy, he uses this bottle. A bottle just goes around collecting bottles to make them. And now, what what the what part of the bottle do they use? A bufongo. The, the important part of the bottle that they use is this one, the bottle top, the inner part. Inside the bottle, we have this thing around, down here. They, they, they use the razor blade to cut the thing out from this bottle top. That part they cut, it is now this one. It's now this one. This one, when you unfold it, it's that one and now we have different sizes so the when there's inner part the inner part to these small parts here and now these big parts around the bottle itself around this bottle you go buy maybe a bottle a soda bottle or whatever you find there is a ring around here they also remove that ring around the mouth of this bottle so that ring it is now these these things that are here this boy is going to fold them to become a rope. So you observe how the boy is going to do it. So you can see now, he's fixing them. It's very long. Now the boy wants to, to use the rope in fast way. They want to jump. You see? Rope. That is the rope. This one is this is the, the one who's making it. This is another lady here, and now this one is now using. They are now <coughs> using the rope in the activity, jumping. Yes, you can see all parts of the bottle, you know, are now being put to use. No waste. And indeed, this here is another student of mine, after I gave them an assignment, challenged them, he again came up with yet another use, you know, converted the used bottle into a phone holder. Let's listen to him. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Elvis Kwaka. A student of Business, Innovation, Technology Management at Jomo Kenyatta University of Architecture and Technology. I would like to make you learn today on how you can scamper your way out of adversity or how you can come out of a challenge through creative approach or, or coming up with an innovation. And so, last semester, actually, we are divided into groups, into class, like three people, people and we are, we, are, we are told to go 
to different places as you are assigned to go to Muranga County to go and, and do a research and find out the best practices that the county government of Muranga has employed to help, to help or bring benefits to the people who live in that particular county. And so we are told to take a video of the same and, and do a documentation. And so we are told to only use our phones and not cameras. So, and we had now this challenge using our phone. How can we, how can we use our phones to capture this video well? Yet when you hold your smartphone, it's kind of shaky shaky and this may lead to poor quality video. And so, we said, okay, you can do something. So, we tried now to use the scamper technique. And so, we decided to use this stand. This stand is, this one is called a, 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 a trombone stand. This is a trombone stand that is used by uh, those who, who do musical instruments using trombone during the stage performance. And they use it to hold a trombone. And so we decided to remove the outer cover that puts that thing into position. And so we said, our friend was having this, so we talked about it and we said that we are going to use this to use it as a camera stand because when you have the phone it's kind of shaky and you can't get out quality videos. So, so we substituted the use of a bottle in this project. And so then to use this bottle now is going to be it's going to hold our camera and we we combine it with this stand to be able to be able to come up with this particular structure. Another thing that we try to consider, I uh, decided now to modify this bottle by cutting this section here. Because when you are putting a, your smartphone here, you can hold it very well and you can capture good videos. And uh, and so, after considering those elements which are in scamper, uh, we decided now to apply it. So, we started by just cutting this bottle and uh, both sides, then, then we fix uh, let me fix my smartphone and just see how it works yes uh, it's kind of I have many phones but don't worry so uh, we fix it here and so uh, so here it is so we are able to adjust it Now we are able to clearly take video without shaking. So we can just turn the camera and adjust it to any position that we like it to fit so that this may help us very well in taking our videos. And we really too might take quality videos. So our advice is that whenever you are posted up with a challenge, you can always scamper your way out using the scamper techniques uh, and uh, you, are, you are going to be able to come up with new innovations. Yes. You know, this was a student of technology and innovation. The other students were venture creation. In other words, entrepreneurship, innovation cuts across. My students of human resource have also done the same. So you can see with some more innovations, this student can now create, you know, camera holders, phone holders, for specific market segments. Yes, this is what we have come up with. And indeed, I have made a kitchen garden using used plastic bottles. The soda. I took the soda bottles that we have used and then I Put there some beans and you see they are now growing they're ready for consumption you can see we are hanging these ones on the walls and these ones in the sacks and let's go yes hang those bottles along your walls you don't need soil you don't need a space on the ground you grow your kitchen garden i have done it successfully so, bottles, 
make money out of those used bottles. Now, do you want to get alerts of every video that I have bought? Then subscribe. You subscribe every time I upload, you know, you'll get alerted. It's free. But please do not enjoy alone. Share. Share with the within your network. Share with the colleagues. Let them also benefit from this. And indeed, if you enjoyed it, then kindly like it. And leave a comment.